Hey guys, welcome back to A. Taylor AI1. We're making Rice Krispie Treats. We're going to make three different kinds. We're going to make chocolate, we're going to make a vanilla, and then we're going to make a vanilla with bacon and maple syrup. Trust me, it's good, and okay? okay? We're going to add one cap full of maple syrup and two rashers of the bacon to this bowl, which I'm going to do before I melt the marshmallows in the uh, microwave. So this will be ready to go, and I'm simply going to, whoops, sorry, I don't know if you see that, well, stand there. Okay, guys, so we're back. So I've me melted the marshmallow in the bowl with the butter, as you can see, and I have my two cups of plain vanilla ones that I'm doing. I have one bowl of chocolate with the bacon and maple, and then I have another two cups with bacon and maple at the bottom, and then we're just going to split this with just a spoonful each. I did spray the spoon, but it'll probably still stick. So just start dividing. Remember, if you're doing it like I'm doing it, I'm doing one batch with four different flavors. Once you start adding your uh, marshmallow, you can't really take it out. I should have done that before I touched the marshmallow. Spray your hands with grease, butter, oil. Do them real good. That way it won't stick to your fingers quite as bad. I'm not saying it won't stick, as you can see, but it's a little bit better. And I think it's easier really just to let it stick to your hands and get busy. There. It's okay if some of the vanilla gets in with some of the chocolate or whatever. Okay, you just mix it. Incorporating all your little marshmallows into it. Smell the bacon. It smells good. The maple. I know. Steve's like, God, Amy, can't you just do something normal? Can you just have plain Jane? So that's why he's getting some that are just plain Jane. So now we're just going to put that here. Then I'm going to start these here. And make that sheet pan turn it over real quick so I can show them how to do this. Yeah, I, mean, I just lick my finger. Take your hands, readjust, make a mess. If you have children, they get to do the clean up work anyways if they want the treats, right? <laughs> yeah, Steve's laughing like, yeah, I mean, that works well. So I'm just going to keep pressing them down like this and we'll be right back. It has both the chocolate and a little bit of piece of bacon, so it did kind of in intermingle because I did it so quick and was just trying to get through showing it to you. So you may want to do half a batch and half a batch and make two batches for each half, one fourth of the batch at a time. Um, but you really don't want to put it back into the microwave. Now I looked at this and the first thought I had, down Dio, cat's trying to get up here, um, is that they're too thin. So I don't like them being thin like that. So I have little loaf pans. You could use muffin tins if you wanted. You could use a larger loaf pan if you wanted. You could do a three layer. Doesn't really matter. Grease the pan. Use a piece of foil. Shape it to the thing of the pan. Corner to corner. So this okay. one that's kind of got a little bit of everything in it. Just take off a piece. I use a rolling pin. Use whatever you have. Knife or whatever. Put this one on top. Kind of just get it to the sides, you know, because you're going to be pressing on it with a greased piece of foil. Parchment paper, Ziploc bag, grease your hands. If you don't have anything else to use, bottom of a cup. And out it comes and turn it over. Now I have found already that to cut this, you're better off, I think, putting it first back into the pan 
or doing it before you turn it out. Now this one I'm going to do in thirds. I just want to make sure you get kind of down to the bottom, get a good clean cut. These I did, the top was the chocolate and the bottom was the vanilla. Then you can just arrange them oops, however you would like to show off. You tried the bacon creation. one? Oh, here. Oh, try bacon one. Well, said Stevie, you'll get a preview. That Dad didn't give me a bacon it's one. It's got bacon and maple in it. Pretty good. Alrighty.